Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Overground 64, this is Silky Shiva, and Series 99. And today, I spent all the money I had on training this squad up. So as you can see, they are level 56 now. Up from, I believe, 50. Yeah, up from 50. So, yeah. Wow, 303 HP on that princess, jeez. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, 174 damage times 4. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. This is a lot of damage. It's also a lot of defense, too. Triple digit defense is really good. Wow, over 200 magical defense on the Lich. Ha! Oh, that's wonderful. Anyway, today... Uh, we're going to be taking on the Arua Plains as we quickly and as we as we continue to quickly make our way to the end of the game. We are essentially on um, the uh, steamroll mode now, so the battle rages on. Steamroller time. Past couple missions have been steamroller time. This one's even more so steamroller time. Get moving! We need to hurry. Shiho. My. Ah. Uh, she's useless like this. I have no choice whether she likes it or not. I must. What are you doing, Zeta? Seal made by a god cannot be broken by the denizens of the netherworld. Isn't that so? Hey, this guy again. Been a while since we've seen him. But Richard, how about a deal? You wish to contact, to receive blessings from a god, right? I will help you as much as I can. So help me break the seal at the ruins. We both seem to know each other's interests, but what makes me think that you won't betray me again? I had no choice. Since the Chaos Gate was destroyed, there was no other way to resurrect Lady Danica but to use them. I don't want to hear excuses. What we want is the blessing from the gods, the ultimate power. I will help you, only if you help us. I... I understand. Didn't we tell you from the very beginning? You must obey us. We've spotted a large group of demons on the road west. They must be heading to the ruins at the foot of Mount Karyaleth to the west. The ruins in the mountains to the west? Is Danica there? Wait, is it just like the Temple of Birth? It may be. Anyway, we must defeat those who stand in our way. Take a look at this. Let's get started. Wow, this place is huge. Fort Randridge in the southeast will be our headquarters for this campaign. We will march to Anderout Station, two days northwest of Randridge. We must, we must capture the station. As you can see, this region is divided by two rivers. It appears that their main force is waiting for us on the other side of this river. How should we allocate our men? That's difficult to say. So, there are four legions on this map. Four relatively small legions, not full-sized uh, five-unit legions. But there are a number of them, which is unfortunate. Uh, however, that does mean that there are not that many that are of the enemies that are just sitting on the towns. So a number of the towns are completely undefended. Uh, so I will end up 
grabbing ones that uh, I know I can grab. This battle will not be easy. Keep your eyes open. Well, it will be very easy with a level 56 squad with Slipnir. Plus the marching baton. Plus the sensor of repose. Yeah, it's a low key. Oh, and I have the uh, training manual on her. Uh, 68. 57. Wonderful. 82. I know where I'm sending my Nena. I can actually send Nena that way, just change the uh, squad commander. Yeah, just change the squad commander to carry, and then we got straight shot over there in that direction. I can actually get most of these. Did that say 25? Yeah, I can't get 25. Uh, 40 I can get. I can't get 28, so you know what? I'm gonna get this, and I'm gonna get this. Actually, is that... That's red. Okay, good. There's, there's a yellow roof on one of the buildings that made it almost seem like it was neutral. Alright, so Nena, go that way. Yeah, and she will take that town, actually. Uh, Magnus, that way. Uh, dispatch Gilbert. Gilbert and Sullivan. Uh, so that we can uh take those at the very least, and I will have my guys like spread out over in this direction. Um, Maxwell could be on base. Send a few guys that way, because we are facing stronger units than everyone else in my party, so definitely want to be prepared for any shenanigans. Definitely want to be prepared for shenanigans. Because they tend to happen. Constantly. Um, so yeah. The only thing I need over this way is Nana, actually. That's actually the only one I'll need. Actually, I won't be able to get Appertine. What am I thinking? It's 20s. I can't get anything in the 20s at all. Period. I cannot get 20s. So, at best, I can take these three, plus this one right here, that is exactly 20. Just change the commander over to someone else. What do you got? Two ogres, huh? Really? A wild raven. He was not persuaded. He was not persuaded. He was not persuaded. Now he's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, random raven. Uh, he gave us hard leather. Sure, why not? Oh, hello. You are boned. <laughs> You are totally screwed out of your mind. Ah, oh, hi, Partha, the Siren. Oh, three ogres and Magnus. Probably not such a good idea. Oh, at least we have annihilation. Owie. Well, at least I can heal. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Yeah, even though we are a number of levels behind, <laughs> we still are doing okay against these enemies. And as you saw there, we got a lot of experience for that, because they are a bit significantly 
a higher level than us. Yeah, goodbye. Out of my way. Oh, a scroll of, dis of discipline. Yeah, go there. I just have to remember to change the squad commander. In fact, I may just do that now. Because I'm not actually using that fourth attack at the moment. It's like, does it really matter that I have that extra attack if I'm not even using it? Probably not. Oh, hello, Legion. Let's fight! Yeah, they're gonna die. So damn fast. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Again, it doesn't even matter that I have the extra attack from the princess in this squad. Ooh. A mace for my, uh... Um, clerics. Yeah, a, a priest. My priest. A priest weapon. It's good. It's good. Good to have a priest weapon. Yeah, you boned. You boned. Come on. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. No, I don't want to interrupt. I want to be able to die. Horrible, horrible deaths. Uh, once we get to the final mission, I will actually take all of my stuff and uh, sell every single bit of excess, as in, all my excess. Oh, come on, seriously? Uh, fine. Whatever. Oh, come on. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Lava flow did nothing. Great. Pedra of virtue, go! Yeah, that's better. Yay, levels. Yeah, that was decent enough, I suppose. We're getting attacked from the side. You're gonna attack my dragons. Seriously? Of all my units, you go after my dragon squad. That will demolish you utterly. Alright, well, it left one unit, but, I mean, really? Still a powerful. These I still have really powerful units in their own right. I mean, they're they're still really powerful units. And I'm gonna get those other like three legions just coming straight for me. See, there's Legion three. Making their way down. I might meet Legion 2. I might meet Legion 2. Um. Yes, you have a store. What's actually in the store? 
That's actually a good uh, staff. That's a good staff. Uh, do, 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 do. Only one falchion. Do I'm not use? Good thing I, I'm not, I'm not actually using it right now. Ooh, ring of eloquence. Uh, I only have enough money to buy one. <laughs> ha! Ha! Yeah, sure, I'll take an extra ring of eloquence, because that's actually a decent item. It's actually a really good item. Alright, there's Legion 2, making its way down. I'm sure Legion 4 is, like, slowly but surely making its way around as well. Oh, he finally made it there. Uh, they're likely going to just try to bypass me, or go straight to here. Oh, hi there! Yeah, you're gonna die. And then I'm gonna win by taking out the enemy commander. Again, another one! Okay, what's with this other one here? Well, sure, just line up to die. I don't really care. Give a damn. Just line up. Line them up to die. <laughs> oh, composite bow. And now to end off the mission. Knights of the Cleganus Order, why? Why do you still cooperate with the denizens of another world? What are you planning to do to this world? The Cleganus Order is decimated thanks to you. The Brigade of Radiant Cross, ordained by the Pope, is useless now. We can't possibly return to Lotus like this. We will return with the ultimate power. We will reach the highest position among the Imperial Knights. No, we will dominate the world. Those who laughed at us, those who murdered my father during the uprising, everyone will bow down before us. And what's left after all that? Nothing, except hatred. You are wrong. The ultimate power is meant for humans. For the sake of this world, I will stop you. Get back, Baldwin! Leave them to me. Head for the ruins. But... I told you go! Why did we come all the way here? You and Richard must resurrect Danica to gain the ultimate power. The secret behind the divine power of the gods! I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Come! In the name of the Cluganus Order, I won't let you pass. Oh, he will let us pass, because we are going to ANNIHILATE HIM! Good night! Wow, took everything out! Uh, is that the first time I've ever taken everything out of the uh, commander unit? Farewell, Richard Baldwin. Ugh. Congratulations! And that is that. We got a Paradox Sword. And seven grand. That's enough to train twice. This one unit. A whole of twice. Currently, the Cleogus Order is using Castle Talpea as their base. To gain the ultimate power, they joined with the denizens of the Netherworld. Their actions cannot be considered noble any longer. They're merely acting out of selfish desire. But why do they follow Lotus's orders? I have no idea. We do know that they aren't as unreasoning as we once believed, though. I guess they share common interests, then. I can't believe the Cleus Order would go that far to gain the ultimate power. 
It would be nice if we could go directly to the ruins, but if we do, our back will be exposed to Castle Talpea. The assault on the castle should be our top priority. From what I've heard, a report on the ruins is stored in that castle. I wonder if that was why they chose Castle Talpea. Yep, finally going back to wetness after all of this time. Uh, the hidden items in this area are craptacular, to say the least. Um, so yeah, I think that with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been LP Shabooks here at Next time on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64, we will take on wetness. Um, and then we have to siege Castle Talpea after that. And then, we end the game! So there's three missions left in the game, folks! Three more episodes! So I will see you all then.